Ice cold lemonade, Lily Island paradise. One of my most favorite days of the year and where I get to go out and actually see how these kids and their mentors or their parents or their siblings helped them plan and execute a lemonade stand. You know, I got my first start doing a lemonade stand when I was a kid. And you think about it, it ignited that entrepreneurial fire that if you think about it today, I have over 400 Raising Canes in 27 states and six countries, and we're starting to eliminate all of them. So you never know what this will spark. But what I love about this program is it's, it's free and it's easy to follow. And kids and parents and our mentors, whoever's taking these kids through this thing, they can learn a lot and learn a lot about business, which you don't usually learn. But it not only teaches you about business, it teaches you, teaches you some great core values, which makes you better better adults, makes them better in business or in philanthropy, what they do. And I love the core value of teaching kids how to give back from some of the money you make. So this program encourages you when you worked hard and if you execute this great lemonade stand, you take your money and you spend some because you've earned it, right? But then you also save some for the future and you also give some back to your community. And so my most uh, satisfying part of all this is to ask these kids what charities are giving back to. And then it ranges from everything from, you know, a local dog park to a children's hospital. It's just really moving. And so the idea that really excites me about this is not just teaching kids about business, but that someday they'll give back to their communities. Literally this year, nationally, Lemonade Day will have way more than last year. And last year was 60,000 kids on today doing this. So it just keeps gaining speed and, and momentum. And it's just a really fun way to do something that's really good. The creativity of these stands blow me away. I mean, when they get together and they do these colors and these ideas, the, the stands are amazing. Their marketing to get people out are amazing. Their, uh, the, the products are amazing. So it's not only was started off the first year, most kids doing lemonade, then it went into different fruit kind of lemonades and it turned into adding baked goods and, uh, and on and on. And, and the ideas these kids are coming up with, you know, doing a raffle and the winner of the raffle uh, gets some great things. A lot of times they get stuff from Canes, uh, but then the raffle proceeds go to the charity of their choice. And so these young entrepreneurs are coming up with all these incredible ideas at a very young age. You know, who, who knows what they're going to come up with in the future? It's Island Paradise themed. I got the idea from my mom because she grew up on an island. I have brownies, cake pops, popsicles, and uh, my lemonade. How long did it take you to put all this together? It took about probably since Lemonade Day started. Last year? Yeah. <laughs> so you've been working on this for a year? Um, yeah, I kept thinking about it, but I didn't fully do it last year. But this is my first year fully doing a lemonade stand and Lemonade Day. Tell us what type of lemonade you have here. I have my regular lemonade, which is called Lily's Lemonade, and I have passion fruit lemonade, which is called Passionately Lemon. And what's in there? It's passion fruit um, juice and my lemonade. Uh, we understand that you're going to be donating some of your proceeds. Tell me about it. Yeah, I was going to donate about 15% of my profit to the homeless people. How'd you come up with that idea? Well, I really just like the idea of giving back to the homeless because they don't really have anything to have and I have stuff as well. Um, so I really just wanted to give to them. One of the parent resources that are available is a teen workbook uh, which is recommended for her grade level at sixth grade and so we worked, we, she used Lemonopolis to learn on her own and then I went through the teacher guide and the work, student workbook pages with her for the lessons. How did you enjoy working with your daughter? It was, it was, um, it was many things. It was entertaining. It was tough sometimes, um, but uh, overall, we've had fun together. How long did it take you and your daughter to put all this together? Well, she's definitely been coming up with ideas since she first asked to do it last year, but it didn't work out for us. So, but we've started working on the design and getting the items together and things like that for a little over a month now. I pretty much was just the, the money man and the muscle behind it. That's, that's pretty much it. You know, I left it up to my, to my daughter to, to learn how to run a business because you know that's really important in this day and time for the kids to learn what it takes to, to have a business, run a business. So I pretty much left it up to her. You know, uh, she went online every night doing all of the, the 
the lessons that's, that, you know, Kane's put online for them to learn how to have the business going and what it's going to take to, you know, to pretty much to keep it going and to, to run it successful. So I pretty much left it up to her and, and my wife kind of helped here and there. And like I said, I was just the, the money man and the muscle behind behind everything. We started wearing the shirts about a week ago and handing out flyers, posting on social media, trying to get, um, just show her all the ways that was part of her lessons, of course, was advertising. And this was one of the things that we did to advertise. Yours is the first lemonade stand we've seen that actually takes credit cards. How'd you pull that off? <laughs> well, um, I actually got the idea from uh, some of the small businesses that we visited, like ice cream, uh, the snow cone stands, um, and they always have the square. And I also uh, have a couple of friends who have small businesses, and they also had a, a square. And so I just thought. I never have cash on me, so if we want to get all the business we can, then we should have options. What did you learn as a parent going through this process? Running a business is not as easy as it seems. It, it takes a lot of time, preparation, hard work. They stayed up all night, you know, uh, making everything and making sure the recipe was down to the T, you know, for, for all this. What would you recommend to other parents about participating in Lemonade Day? It's, it's really good for the kids, uh, you know, it, it's going to help them, you know, now and in the future to learn how to run a business, you know, uh, what it takes to, to want to do something. I would definitely uh, say that um, it, it, I recommend it highly. It's a great program. They learn so much about finances, entrepreneurship. There, there are so many life lessons, academic lessons. I would definitely, definitely recommend it. <laughs> what would you say to other kids about uh, participating in Lemonade Day? I think it's fun and they should do it. <laughs> what have you learned by going through this? How to run a business. What are your plans for a college and a career? Well, actually, some of my profit is going to my college fund. Lily won our Lemonade Best Tasting Glass this year, and it's for your passion fruit and the lemonade, and it won hands down great, so I get to try it for the first time today here. Mmm, mmm, that's so good, that's so good. How'd you come up with it? Um, my mom's from an island, Trinidad, and I really wanted to do an island because I like what the mm -hmm. island gives. Mm -hmm. That makes perfect sense. So the, the batch of fruit and the juices like that mix good with lemon. Right, I brought so y'all some cane stuff too. Raisin cane. You yeah. Yeah. What do you say? Well, you know what? I have I have some gift cards for y'all to get some raisin canes after this later today. Does that sound good? How's the stand going? Y'all doing good? Yes, sir. Yeah. You'll sell lots of lemonade? Yes, sir. We are excited about the happy stand and more because we wanted to have the girls, they've all been begging to do a lemonade stand and uh, we thought this would be a great way to have them learn about uh, starting a business and giving back to the community at the same time. How many girls do you have involved? We've got 10 girls and they're all in first grade at the University Lab School. What have they learned by going this? I think they've learned a little bit about um, giving back to the community and how hard it is to start a business. And they've also learned about a little bit about math in the meantime. We've uh, shopped and priced goods and gotten some donations and um, counted out, you know, priced each item individually. Uh, so I think that they've really had a little bit of fun too, learning to organize the girls and pull them together to start the stand. Um, my daughter wanted to do it and she wanted to do it with her friends. How long did it take you to put all this together? Ooh, oh gosh, about a month we've been working on it. Um, so we had our first meeting where the girls um, worked together to brand their stand and name it and come up with a theme and a logo. Um, and then from there we started to learn about business essential skills and things like that. In our first meeting we wanted to determine where we would donate our funds and St. Jude was at the forefront of their minds. Um, um, some of our sisters had their uncle pass away from cancer, um, childhood cancer, and um, we discussed that and talked about it, and the girls decided easily that that was the charity that they would, they would donate to. I was really just a behind-the-scenes helper, um, helping my daughter to make her posters, make her goodies, um, and to basically let all of her friends know about their lemonade stand. What has she learned by doing this? 
She learned um, a lot about teamwork, a lot about um, donating to charity, and about how much work goes into something like this. As a mom, what did you learn? Um, I learned to really try to try my best to be as hands off and let the kids run it as much as we could. Um, I felt like the more that they could do it themselves, the more they would learn. A momager, I think that's what they call it. Managing um, first graders can be difficult. <laughs> what would you recommend to other parents? Oh, I think it's a lot of fun. If you have some time, it, it doesn't take a lot of time, and letting them take over can be difficult, but I think once you do, you really see them and their own personalities come out. It's like herding cats, these first graders. <laughs> um, but once you focus um, on the goal and the mission, they, they certainly organize well. My job is to make lemonade for to get money for St. Jude's Hospital. Why did you pick St. Jude as the charity? Because they need money to help kids cancer. My job is to make lemonade for other people. What have you learned by doing this? Well, I learned that maybe on hot days like today, people might need lemonade, cold lemonade, just to help them cool down. The cupcakes, um, I think that, that they're gonna be really good for the customers that come and they, and they look really delicious. I've learned that the Children's Hospital needs money for St. Jude. So their donations, their charity of choice this year is St. Jude, which why do y'all think, why do y'all want to support St. Jude? Because they Yeah, I've been to St. Jude a couple of times, and I do donations there too. So I think it's a great charity. I've been through all their wards, through all their fields. That's a great, great, great charity. And stuff like this will really, really, really help. Get out here! Everybody laughing. Yeah, we missed this this morning peeping up on it. Hey, shake his hand. Shake his hand. How you doing, buddy? Shake his hand. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. I told you I was going to come see you. <laughs> Look, I've been thinking about I've been thinking about that lemonade since you were at the office the other day. I gotta get another one. This is Leroy's Lip Smack and Lemonade Stand, and we're selling his famous lemonade today on Lemonade Day. What kind of response have you had so far? Uh, we had a great response. Everyone is buying. We're having fun. We're having a good time. What has this meant for Leroy? It's meant everything to Leroy. It let him let him has an opportunity to be himself and enjoy doing what he loves to do. We have people that want to uh, buy some more lemonade, they want to know where he's selling it at, and uh, they want to be in pictures with Leroy. We do Lemonade Day, but we're here in Walmart parking lot because we started Lemonade Day in 2012, and we're going to always do Lemonade Day. Lemon uh, a Day has caused us to be able to have a real business for Leroy. We are just so grateful for Todd Graves and his vision of a child becoming an entrepreneur. And Lemonade Day, when we started in 2012, was so exciting for Leroy. It was something he could do because he's a special needs child with hearing loss. And he loved handing out his lemonade and saying thank you. And we realized after doing it another year that this could be something that Leroy could really do. And let's take Todd's vision to the next level because I'm sure that's what Todd really wanted. He wanted kids to be able to have something that they loved and that they could do and eventually become entrepreneurs for real. So Leroy has a business where his lemonade is sold in uh, stores, a restaurant downtown, we sell it in Tiger Stadium on LSU's campus uh, at Alex Box, Tiger Park, and the sky's the limit for Leroy. We do not limit him. And we're just grateful because Todd Gray's vision is how this started for Leroy. I would recommend to other parents to love your children more and more every day and find out what they love to do and push them in that direction. 
I love it. Good job. I love it. The business community loves this program because people in business get that it's not really taught at a young age and you don't get those exciting ideas as a kid unless you go through something like doing a lemonade stand. So the community support is absolutely huge. The business community supports it. Also the mentoring groups uh, all over the country, like a, for example, a big buddy, right? And then they get behind mentoring these kids and teach them something they haven't done before, but have something really fun and meaningful to do to, to get together. I would like people to keep in mind that it's not just a lemonade stand and just a fun time. It's teaching values that they're going to take with them through life. Someday they might start a business or they might be part of a nonprofit or they might be part of a different organization. They're learning these skills, but then that whole part of giving back to the community, I think, is going to stay with them for life. What about the parents? What did the parents learn by going through this program? I love the parents' involvement and the mentors' involvement and older siblings. They really get behind it. They take the kids through the program. It's very easy to follow, but it's also very comprehensive. Kids learn about planning, budgeting, marketing. I mean, if you don't have it, 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 their own money, they have to go get investors for it. Uh, some food safe products, doing all those things. And then it's afterwards, it's like, wow, they see this pile of money and it's like, okay, what's encourage you to save this amount for the future? Let's give this back. What charity you want to give back to? And this you get to go spend. And then that, that, that feeling in the kids, they want to do more. And I think it's going to carry with them. How can people get more information about Lemonade Day for next year? If you want to do Lemonade Day next year, go to LemonadeDay.org. The program's free. And go through it. I, I promise you'll love it.